Hey guys! You know I love styling my hair without heat and trying new methods for heatless curls so there is one that I have been coming across all the time and never gave a try and today that is when I'm going to give a go and it is straw curls. Straw curls are supposed to give you very kind of tight small curls um, and it's a very easy kind of accessible way to curl your hair overnight or do heatless curls. I tried this obviously as you can see and today I'd like to share my experience with you. So first of all let me just tell you how to do this. It is very simple. You just take a couple of straws, take a piece of your hair, wrap it around the straw and then um, tie a knot in the straw, pull really hard so that it's tight and it doesn't slip and then um, you're going to do this all across your hair and try and take sections that are relatively small. The smaller the sections of hair you take, so the more straws you use, the smaller and tighter your curls will be. And then you're going to want to leave this in for hours and hours and hours. I slept in this and I think I had it in for like 14 or 15 hours because I did this in the afternoon and then I had all evening and all night and a little bit of my morning to leave this into my hair. First of all, let me just say this is horrible to sleep in. It is horrible. These things are all over your head. There is no way you can lay down and not lie on those straws. Um, I ended up sleeping on my belly for most of the night, just sleeping on my face because that was the only part of my head that didn't have straws on it. I scratched my scalp with the ends of the straws. Um, it really hurts in some points where I did lie on it and it was kind of um, sticking into my head. Oh my gosh, I, I don't understand how people sleep with straws in their hair. Maybe my straws were too big or too thick or too stiff. I don't know, but this was not an experience I would like to go through again and I don't recommend you to sleep in this, to be completely honest. Yeah, another thing you could do is to make your hair slightly damp, then twist it into the straws and then blow dry it on a high heat setting, but that kind of defeats the purpose of this being heedless curls. I have also... Um, seen kind of tips for doing straw curls by wrapping your hair around the straw and then squeezing it with a straightening iron but i was going to try this and my boyfriend saved me by saying hey don't you want to try and straighten the straw first because i'm pretty sure it's going to melt which of course it did so do not straighten your hair in plastic straws because the plastic will melt into your hair and that's even worse than sleeping on them <laughs> So the next morning, when you've endured the night of straw curls, you can take them all out, which is what I did a short while ago. And this is what my hair ended up looking like. I have to say I really like the results, but this is a result I can get with different curling methods as well. I honestly think using straws because, I mean, these straws are ruined. I won't be able to use these again. And they're not expensive, but I cannot I can't really reuse these either. So yeah, I think it's a kind of a waste of straws. You can get a similar or even nicer result using other materials like ribbons or uh, even socks, depending on how thick your hair is. But then again, that may also be because my straws were quite thick. Maybe if I used thinner straws and maybe smaller strands of hair as well, my curls would have been a little bit tighter because this is a result I can get with a curling iron as well and I was hoping that this would give me curls of a tightness that is unachievable with a curling iron, if that makes any sense. Which I didn't get. Uh, I may have to give this another go but I'm really reluctant because I just don't want to sleep on the straws again. <laughs> I think it does make a little bit of a difference whether you wrap your hair around the straw kind of straight like a flat ribbon or whether you kind of twist it and then turn it around. Um, I think twisting and then wrapping it will make for a little bit of a looser curl. And I wrapped in random directions. So some of the straws I kind of twisted upwards, some of them I twisted downwards, which changes the direction of the curls. And I think that is part of why this looks um, quite natural. I think this does look very similar to natural curls on people. So yes, my final conclusion is the result of straw curls is really nice. I love these curls, but I have to give it a thumbs down because it was so painful to sleep on. It takes a really long time to roll up all of your hair in those straws. You waste a bunch of straws that are not reusable and yeah, I think there are better curling methods out there. 
So that is my final verdict of straw curls. Let me know if you have ever tried straw curls and what your experience was. Um, maybe I did something wrong, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. That is going to be the end of my video, so I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more hair tutorials. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!